Volunteering while traveling has become a popular thing to do, but could you be doing more harm than good? International organizations like Save the Children are urging people to stop what's come to be known as voluntourism, specifically to orphanages. It's because it has damaging consequences for the kids who live there. With more, we're joined this morning by the Child Protection Advisor for Save the Children, Olivia Lekoufé. Thank you for being with us this morning. Morning, Anne-Marie. First of all, I want to give people uh, some statistics around how, just how many kids are in orphanages worldwide. If we take a look at the numbers that are out there, 8 million children live in orphanages. 80% of them uh, have at least one living parent. I think that's a surprise to a lot of people to know that there are children in orphanages, sometimes with one or more living parents, because loss of family is not the only reason or even the main reason why kids end up in orphanages. Yeah, absolutely, actually. To think that uh, four out of five children have actually living family is really a myth buster in understanding the reality of those orphanages. What are or, the real reasons then for them being um, So main reason is violence and uh, abuse at home. Many children are leaving their home and escaping and, and finding other alternatives. This is also the case uh, in Canada. Um, as you've mentioned, there is a huge issue around poverty. Parents don't feel that it's not about a feeling. They cannot necessarily provide for the basic need of the children, such as providing them with food or sending them to the doctor when they're sick or sending them to school. And they're hoping that in those institutions, they would get those services and would have more opportunities to, to success. Uh, another important reason is their illness. And that's where, indeed, you might have orphans, specifically with... Uh, uh, HIV AIDS, we see a, uh, we saw a peak in, in orphans. Mm -hmm. uh, but you also have a lot around discrimination and stigma, particularly for children with disability. Mm -hmm. They can be associated with having a evil or things. There is a lot of norms around them. Mm -hmm. And then they get abandoned. Uh, and finally, humanitarian crisis, so war, mm -hmm. uh, natural disasters such as tsunami, floods, uh, can lead to children being separated right. or uh, lose their family. Bottom line, these are all kids at risk in some way or another that are in an orphanage. So talk to us about this idea that has you know, sort of come to, the, come to light that you know, our intention to do good, to go to the orphanage, to see, to help, to interact, may actually be more harmful. How? Yeah, there's many reasons that turns this positive willingness into something that is indeed and can turn into something very harmful. Uh, First of it is, when you're volunteering, what are your skills? So you're, you're going to help and you, have, you come with your best will, but what are your actual skills to support children? Would you want to be cured by a doctor that just decided that they want to do good and don't know anything about medicine? Mm -hmm. Child development and care is very much of uh, something that is skilled and that is needed. There's um, also an issue around the fact that if you have so many orphanages, you, you normalize access to children who you've mentioned are already very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And in that sense, you can have people with bad intention that come there and then abuse children further. There, those, especially the countries that have more uh, orphanages, don't necessarily have the capacities to be filtering and having the safeguards that are necessary. Mm -hmm. So you're opening the door to more abuse. And then even if you're trying, uh, you have skills, you're not a predator, and you think that's a good thing, the worst about volunteering in orphanages is that you're supporting a system. And what we've seen is that that system created even uh, cases of trafficking, because then you have a demand. And mm -hmm. so it, it almost, you have people who take advantage of that, mm -hmm. create an institution, don't take care enough of the children, because it sells better if children look bad, and then get money from outside, time from outside, and it's a very vicious circle. I've spent time in some orphanages as recently as last year. One of the directors said to me the, the reason they typically don't allow people to come into the orphanage is it makes the children almost feel a bit like they're on display, like they're at a zoo, like here's me demonstrating what a, a struggled life looks like. That's absolutely true, and actually even worse than that, if you go to help children and you have their best interest into mind, Think about them. How much time are you going to spend? Maybe a few weeks, maybe a few months, mm -hmm. but what is happening afterwards? Yeah. You're leaving and you're creating another cycle of abandonment, of loss of identity, of loss of trust. So you're thinking of you're going to help that child, but that child is going to see so many of you and he's going to engage and he's going to build that trust and then you're leaving. Olivia, I don't want to leave without some solutions for people because people have hearts of compassion. They want to help. They want to help these kids move on to Absolutely. a different life or provide them at least with some health care that is much needed. What can they do? 
So I think the key first is to understand what is helpful for children. Mm -hmm. And what's helpful for children is to be living with families. So anything that helps strengthening the families, whether it's about parenting or their economic status or anything, will be a program that will have positive consequences for children. And if you want to help, there is many, many ways of helping it. Uh, first, get informed and learn more and question, like, how can I do this that is really, that if my mean is to help, then how can I do this so it's really meaningful? And think of what you would like someone to do with you in Canada. Um, so I would recommend to, um, as I said, be informed, look at programs that are existing. Mm -hmm. uh, Save the Children has uh, many programs around the world and also some volunteering opportunity. Uh, do travel, do meet with communities, but be very aware of what you can bring and how it could be harmful or how, could you, how you could also be used by people that are uh, with wrong intentions. Olivia, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you, Anne-Marie.